We're getting reports of a tragic plane crash in Grand Bahama that has claimed the lives of nine people. Our coverage tonight originates from the Bahamas Faith Ministries Diplomat Center. Ladon, the leadership at Bahamas Faith Ministries, the pastoral board, carrying out perhaps their most difficult task ever to announce that their leader, CEO, and founder of Bahamas Faith Ministries, Dr. Miles Monroe, died in that plane crash earlier this evening. Pastor Dave Burrows made the announcement. Unfortunately confirm that there was a plane crash in Freeport, Grand Bahama this afternoon. The aircraft involved belonged to Dr. Miles Monroe, founder, president, and senior pastor of Bahamas Faith Ministries International, who was on board at the time, along with his wife Ruth Ann, and Dr. Richard Pinder, Senior Vice President and Pastor of Bahamas Faith Ministries. There were additional passengers and two pilots on board. We are not able to release further information on the other passengers pending notification of kin. This is the current extent of information we have at this time and we are preparing a further update and, pre and press release within the next few hours once we have received additional information. Uh, we did have a service this morning. Dr. Monroe led the service this morning and uh, shortly after the service he and the other passengers left for the airport and the flight was scheduled to leave at 3 p.m. I'm not sure of the official time that the flight left, but it was scheduled for 3 p.m. Uh, we received notification sometime later. I don't remember the exact time, but it was probably around 5 o'clock that we received the first bit of, bit of information. We do have um, a number of persons in Freeport currently who were there for the conference, and we also have a church in Freeport. So our Freeport pastor and uh, other members of the church uh, were at the crash site and they um, called us back to confirm exactly what had happened. Now on the inside, parishioners were no doubt in mourning. Our Janine Noel Ferguson has that angle. Thanks so much, Clint. Now scores of persons gathered here at BFM shortly after learning about what had happened. They just heard from the other pastors of the church who announced and confirmed that Dr. Miles Monroe and other church members did in fact die in that crash. Words cannot express um, what we feel tonight. And the whole country is devastated um, because of what happened. Dr. Monroe has really impacted the Bahamas and I guess the entire world in such a way that I don't know who can fill the shoes um, but it's a loss for the country. A lot of the names are still not being released but church members here were encouraged to stay together. They've been singing praises to God and praying all night. Now Pastor B Dave Burroughs did tell them to stick together, not to listen to a lot of the hysteria that's being placed on social media and wait for the next of kin to be notified in a lot of these uh, situations. A lot of family and friends have gathered here. We're told that the church will be open throughout the night. The church will be open tomorrow and there's also a special prayer meeting tomorrow evening, that's Monday, uh, that will take place. Uh, right now we're hearing that another press conference or another update will take place. We know that Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Perry Christie, is also having a press conference on this, and we'll continue to bring you the latest. We will have extensive coverage of this tragedy tomorrow. Our team from the Northern Service will also provide us with exclusive updates. We send rockets to the moon and the stars. And though we make ships and planes that go very not a mountain that man hasn't climbed, but a brand new world he could never find. So, if you want a brand new world, you gotta have a brand new people. If you want a brand new people, you gotta have a brand new I'm 
under Jesus' right. 